Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. The Keeler Next Generation, or simply NG, represents a leap forward in armored breaching vehicles designed to operate in the most challenging battlefield conditions with precision, speed, and safety. The new development from Rheinmetall offers a complete solution for defensive breaching operations, which are among the most dangerous and yet the most important military tasks. Its advanced features and advanced technology ensure that troops can safely and effectively overcome minefields and obstacles, clearing paths for troops and armored vehicles. In this video, we will take a closer look at the main features of the Keeler NG, its real-world application, and the importance of this technology in modern warfare, and compare it with its competitors. But before we get started, if you enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. For any military movement through hostile terrain with potential mines and obstacles is a high-stakes operation. Conventionally, breakthroughs across such areas have been one of the most hazardous tasks a soldier could ever undertake, requiring skill, bravery, and often huge sacrifices. But with the development of armored breakthrough vehicles, armies have acquired at their disposal reliable means of overcoming these hazards with a minimum risk to human life. Of course, each to its own, the German Keeler NG, the American M1150, and the Korean K600 Rhino all provide for this mission of marrying strength, modern weaponry, and rapid demining. The presentation of the Keeler NG in Bergen in August 2024 showed how far the technology for breaking through enemy defenses has advanced, especially when compared to its predecessor, the Keeler. Rheinmetall's engineers have made various strategic changes to bring the Keeler NG in line with the modern requirements of the battlefield. For example, with a speed of 40 miles per hour or 65 kilometers per hour, and the ability to overcome obstacles up to 35 inches or 90 centimeters high, it gives the vehicle extraordinary mobility for its 63-ton weight, which is even more than a conventional tank. It can also overcome a 60% gradient on uneven terrain, ford or cross trenches over 2.5 meters wide, keeping up with the most advanced main battle tanks of the time, such as the Leopard 2. But what really made the German armored vehicle demonstration stand out was the use of the Plofader fuse system, a missile-assisted explosive tool that is both impressive and highly effective. In a matter of just seconds, the Plofader system laid a lane through the simulated minefield, a 525-foot or 160-meter long and 8.2-feet or 9-meter wide gap, marking a path through which soldiers and vehicles could be safely passed. Clearly, this was a capability that would prove to be of great value on the field when the system launched and detonated in an overlapping series. To the soldiers who were being confronted with heavily fortified enemy defenses, the Plofader system could mean the difference between safe advancement and death trap. Nothing new here, since these explosive capabilities for the Keeler NG are similar to its American counterpart, the M1150 Breakthrough Assault Vehicle, also employs advanced explosive disposal technology to keep soldiers out of harm's way. The M1150 is based upon the M1 Abrams chassis, fitted with linear explosive charges capable of clearing a path through minefields at extremely safe distances. Both vehicles instill the desired amount of confidence in combat engineers when breaking into enemy ground. The M1150 Armored Assault Vehicle also comprises a set of other high-tech systems developed to ensure safety as well as a maximum output of the vehicle to conduct effective operations. Categorized as a breakthrough vehicle among the U.S. military, the M1150 can carry and launch charges to cut lanes through minefields, which it can mark for oncoming infantry and vehicles. The military has also researched robotic uses for the M1150 in recent years, allowing it to control the vehicle remotely to reduce risks among the operating crew. The Keeler NG has in fact been designed to be even future-proof, such as the capability to enable remote control, thereby offering the advantage of being used in high-risk areas when even heavily armored vehicles run huge risks. Besides the explosives, numerous other systems have been integrated on the Keeler NG in order to ensure safety for the oncoming forces. For example, it has been fitted with a magnetic signature duplicator, which detects and detonates second-generation mines before the plow can reach them. This is an advanced system which does not disrupt demining operations with any unexpected explosion or destroy the machine. 
Besides, Keeler NG is fitted with an integrated marking system that always leaves visible traces for troops and vehicles in conditions of poor visibility due to fog, smoke, or at night. This feature becomes critical in the chaos of battle where clear and safe paths can often make a difference between life and death for the advancing troops. And I will try to explain why so many words are pronounced about safety, because actually the breakthrough vehicle Keeler NG is one of the most important actors in modern military operations, especially under asymmetric warfare conditions in the hot conflict area. One of the most dangerous moments in combat is breaking through the enemy defenses through minefields or anti-tank ditches or fortified obstacles. Traditional methods of breaching often require a man-in-the-loop approach, whereby engineers have to clear the path manually in the line of fire and explosives. Machines like the Keeler NG execute these functions far quicker, with much more efficiency and less danger to human lives. For active war zones like Afghanistan, Iraq, and lately Ukraine, the breaching of the defenses is vital for maintaining troop mobility. It does not matter if it be for logistic convoys, infantry, or tanks, Keeler NG and its brethren systems provide a critical enabling function that allows military operations to progress without deadly delays. But Keeler NG is not just about breaking through, it's also about surviving a modern battlefield from both conventional and asymmetric threats. For protection, Keeler NG is fitted with a rosy rapid concealment system, which deploys smoke screens in the most brilliantly quick fashion to keep the vehicle protected from enemy sights and reduce its vulnerability to fire in the best possible manner. It has a remotely operated 12.7mm Rheinmetall Natter cannon that can be controlled from inside the armored hull and is used for both defensive firepower and the added protection of a two-man crew. Meanwhile, another rival to the German armored reconnaissance vehicle is next worth mentioning. The K600 Rhino offers a more lightweight and agile alternative, while still retaining some of the key defenses in smoke screens and thick armor plating. K600 Rhino armored breakthrough vehicle was developed by South Korea for the particular terrain and special defense needs on the Korean peninsula. Its vehicle body was built upon the chassis of the main battle tank model K1A1. With good mobility and heavy armor that enables traveling around both rough terrain and urban areas with ease. This revolutionary vehicle is designed primarily to clear mines, anti-tank obstacles, and other impediments that delay troop movement in high-risk areas, like the demilitarized zone between the two Koreas, which is almost a dense minefield. It comes fitted with both a powerful mine plow and mine rollers, which with the K600 can safely clear off and demine explosive ordnance without relying on the use of explosive charges alone. These demining tools are further complemented by a magnetic signature duplicator that pre-detonates certain types of mines before the vehicle has to directly encounter them, hence adding another layer of safety for its crew. The K600 can handle so many different types of conditions, a requirement in the shifting Korean landscape, much of which looks dramatically different with each successive season. It is this flexibility that enables the system to function effectively in urban, forest, and mountainous terrain. Lacking the full-scale explosive ordnance disposal capabilities of the US M1150 or the German Keeler NG, the K600's maneuverability and stability meet particular defense needs of South Korea, especially along the fortified demilitarized zone. To summarize, we can confidently say that military conflicts around the world have created a lot of problems related to minefields. The new German Keeler NG should become part of a global plan to clear mined areas for both military and civilian purposes. What are your thoughts on Keeler Next Generation? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos straight to your notifications.